When I press the power button, all the lights around the rotating selector switch are turned on. But when this washing machine will show an error, then a light blinking pattern will be made. The light on the display will blink in a specific manner to show a specific error. So let's check what is the model of the machine. The model number is F10C3QDP2, which is an LG washer. You can see lights are blinking on the washing machine. Let me tell you what it means. And what is its solution? So the lights are blinking in this pattern. It means that the washing machine is not able to fill the water. I selected the washer on the synthetic program. And the washer is not filling with water on this program. So that is why the error is showing. First, you have to check your tap, whether somebody mistakenly closed the tap. So the washer will not fill with water, other than this if the pressure of the washer is very low. Still, the washing machine can make the problem. The washer shows this error almost after 4 minutes. The pressure should be good enough that the washer may fill the drum in under 4 minutes. And then, the water level sensor will stop operating. Then the washing machine will not show an error. If the pressure of the water is good and the water is flowing towards the machine. You can see at the back of the washer a valve is installed, which is the water inlet valve. And this is its input. Then open the pipe using your hand, or you can use a plier to open it, because its screw is not kept too tight, as it is tightened this much that it may not leak water. You can see a blue colored filter inside the valve. Right now, someone has it installed in the reverse position. So let me remove it, and if this filter gets clogged, then the washer could make this problem. You can see another filter inside the valve. This is also used to prevent dirt to go inside the washer. You have to clean it properly using a brush. Then install it correctly in its correct position inside the valve. Now I will install the pipe back. And check whether your washer works takes water or not. Now I will open its top cover by disconnecting the washing machine from electricity. Now I remove the top cover of the washer. You can see the water inlet valve is installed here. Some machines could have single valves, as this washer has double water inlet valves, which means it has two connections. You can see it has a double wiring connection. Then the water will split into two pipes. When I open the dispenser tray of the washer, we can add detergent on both sides of the tray. The centered tray is used to add chlorine. The water can flow on one side of the tray as well as on both sides of the tray. The water also flows in the center of the tray. And this is how it functions. If any one valve gets bad, this will cause the problem, or if both valves get bad. Still, it will cause the water problems. You will have to remove the connector from the valve and check whether 220 volts are passing through it or not. You will have to check the electricity on both the connectors. If the voltages are not passing then the problem could be in the control board of the washing machine. But if electricity is present in one valve or both the valves, then the water inlet valve could be faulty. It could have dirt clogged inside it, or it could be bad from the inside. Replace it with a new one, or open it to repair it. You can see screws are attached to it. So this valve can easily be disassembled. Open the valve and clean it, and the washing machine will start taking water. Otherwise, replace it with a new one if it still does not work after cleaning. Now further, I will test the machine and check what the reason is that the machine is not taking water. I have removed the connector of the valves. I have attached them with different multimeters to check the electricity on the connectors. By attaching two multimeters, we will know which valve is getting electricity fine. Now I will select the same program with the same procedure as I did before. And I will press the play button. I have connected this multimeter with the white connector of the valve. 220 volts are passing through the connector, which means this connector is absolutely fine. With the blue connector, I have installed this multimeter. 220 volts are passing through this connector as well. This means electricity passes through both connectors. This means this valve is faulty. If the wires of the inlet valve are disconnected, my sometimes enter the machine and cut the wire. You will have to check whether any wire is disconnected or not. Now I will test these coils whether they are good or bad. As water will not fill due to this problem as well. Now I will set the multimeter to ohms mode. I will check the reading of the water inlet valve. 
The value of the coil is 4.79 kilo ohms. This coil is absolutely fine. I will also check the value of the next coils. The reading on this coil is 4.84 kilo ohms. Both the readings are the same. This means these coils are absolutely fine. If the values had been in mega ohms or as I have removed the wire of the multimeter, the value would have been something like this, as how this value is shown, then the coils of the water inlet valves will be considered bad. Replace the coils or valves, and the washer will work fine. Now I will tell you about the wiring connection of the water inlet valve. You can see two wires are installed with the blue connector. And three wires are installed with the white connector. So what is its reason? If we see the wires from the back, you can see three wires are going towards the connector. The color of the wires is white with a black strip, black wire, and the third is gray with black stripes. You can see the black wire is connected to the white connector. A loop is coming out from the white connector, which is connected to the blue connector. The black wire is the common wire. The gray wire with the black stripes is the neutral wire. The black wires are given line. So how is it controlled? You can see two connectors over here. One is yellow and the other is blue. The common wire over here is the black wire, which is used for the water inlet valves and the drain pump. You can see this yellow connector. The black and gray wires are attached with strips. Both the connectors are attached over here in the control board. You will also have to check the continuity between these wires, to check whether they are disconnected. But if the continuity between the wires is fine, then the problem could be in this control board. Some of the components in the control board go bad. If the electricity is not flowing from the control board, then it means that the control board is faulty. Now I will talk about the next blinking error code. Let me explain how the second error code shows up on the display. This happens whenever we are washing our clothes. And during the wash, the washer starts to overflow. This means the water goes to an excess quantity. And the machine will start to show this blinking. You can see the blinking of the lights is in this pattern. To fix the fault, open the dispenser tray. You will see that the water will continuously keep flowing in the tray. Due to this, the water will overfill in the drum. And the washing machine will start to show an error. This sensor keeps a check whether the water in the drum is more in quantity or not because it is an electronic control. The issue is less in the manually controlled sensor. They understand that the water has overflowed the water from the washer. Now the water leak from the washer could have two reasons. The first is if electricity continuously flows through the water inlet valve. As soon you put the plug in the socket, and the water flows inside the tray. This means that direct electricity is flowing through the water inlet valve. This is the reason the water is overflowing in the washer. And if you disconnect the washer from electricity and at the same time the water stop flowing in the tray. Then this is clear that the fault is in the control board. The components in the control board have short circuited. Due to this, the electricity is flowing directly towards the water inlet valve. The other reason for leakage in the washer is the valve itself as something is wrong inside the water inlet valve. Now you will have to mark the pipes, to remember which pipe was installed with which water inlet valve. As if you forget, it can get wrong. The pre-wash and the main wash water will flow wrong. First, I will remove the water adapter pipe from the back side. Open these two screws. Then remove the valve out. As the clips of this water inlet valve is downwards, that is why I opened the valve first to remove these clips easily. Now I have pressed the clip, and it will easily go downward, the same I will push the second clip downward. Time being, this rubber gets solid. You can't pull the rubber easily by applying force with your hands. Use a tester to lose the rubber, and then push it, then it will easily come out of the water inlet valve. I will do the same with the second pipe. Now I will clean this valve and check whether it has any problem. When these white detergent scales are built, then the valve inside creates the problem. Now I will disassemble it. I will open the screws. See, this is its piston, and a spring is installed in it. 
If this kind of detergent residue is made on the piston, put them inside the scale remover for a very short time. So that the scales may remove from the piston, the shine of the piston should not be gone. Then diaphragm is installed on it. I will remove the diaphragm. See if it gets dirty this way. Then they will start to make problems. You will have to put this in the scale remover. The rubber is also dirty from the inside. The valve does not work due to this dirt. Let me show the other diaphragm as well. See, this one is also dirty. Now I will put it in a scale remover. This is a toilet cleaner which I will use. The brand is Harpic. You can use any cleaner. The sides of the spring have no dirt in it. I will only clean the dirty parts. I have placed all the dirty parts in the plastic bowl. And I will pour Harpic on the parts. You can see the cleaner is reacting with the scales. This is how the dirt will be removed. Don't put the parts in the cleaner for long as the cleaner could damage the parts. I will make the cleaner stay on the parts for some time. Then clean it with normal water. Now the water inlet valve is cleaned. I will reassemble it. The black side will be placed downward. The second as well. Now put the pistons back in the holes. The rubber side will be kept on the top. I will fit back the body of the valve with the coils. And this is how you can solve your problem. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos. And subscribe. It's free. Thank you.